friend, Arthur C. Clarke. Clarabelle was a small yellow canary who lived hidden in the ventilating shafts and storage bulkheads of the space station. Curious about how a bird would operate. In zero gravity, Sven Olsen had smuggled her up on the last ferry from Earth. B. Arthur first discovers Clarabelle in his office when he hears her musical whistle. She is seen hanging in the air, motionless, with her wings quietly folded along her sides. She adapts and learns quickly how to move in the new environment. Soon, everyone starts loving her and she becomes a general pet. One morning, when the author gets up, he has a nagging headache and feels sluggish. That day, Sven who goes looking for Clarabelle, finds her unconscious. Everyone is distressed and clueless about what to do. After a while, someone suggests giving her a shot of oxygen. To their surprise, she revives at once but passes out again. The author is suddenly struck with a realization. He remembers that miners used to carry canaries down to warn them of gas. He asks Jim, the duty engineer, to check the systems as he thinks that something might be wrong with the air. They soon find out that part of the air purifier had frozen up. B. Second alarm circuit isn't connected and the single alarm in the circuit had failed to go off. The author now understands why he felt sluggish in the morning and felt like he needed some oxygen. Without Clarabelle, everyone would have been in grave danger. This science fiction story about a canary that serves as an invaluable alarm system and helps save lives on the space station is recounted in a delightful manner. B. Tone is humorous throughout and highlights Clark's strong interest in the frontiers of science. Unit 2.pdf